And everyone YouTube is Alex here, back with some more Subnautica. Yeah, I've been a bit delayed with Subnautica videos, but I'm still here. It's just, uh, I'm busy. Life and shit's getting in the way. Anyway, got a base for you, as always, and this is another user suggestion. I say user. Uh, a commenter suggestion uh, to build a base in the crater where the giant meteor is, which was a recent addition. It's probably a bit hard for you to actually see... Um, where I'm actually on about, but if I turn off fog, you can actually see this is the meteor crater uh, and everything else. And the precursor cache is over there, so that's kind of where I am. Uh, and all, all in there. Also, you can kind of see w if I wouldn't just like to hold that was probably my hard drive actually. Uh, but you can kind of see where I'm getting at uh, with the design. It's, it's very simply just tr trying to encircle it, although you can't circle it. Yeah, you're only. Well, <laughs> everything's a square, but I mean, you know, so be it. That's just how the game works. So, if you couldn't already tell, I've lit up the area as best I can with floodlights, uh, which has somewhat helped. Um, just before I uh, get in, I'll just say one thing is um, I've got to say how um, CPU intensive Subnautica is. Uh, it usually kills my poor old hex core, um, uh, my old FX6300, but now I've upgraded to Ryzen. At least I'm still getting about, th I'm getting 30 FPS right now. Steady, uh, which is better than uh, before. So, I mean, this base was lagging me out a fair bit, uh, but that's just because probably its size and, in all honesty, the the glass corridors there are cool, but they're very laggy. Not to mention, I mean, I can understand with the whole base building update where they, uh, that's not really an update, but where there was like they removed terraforming for like when you place down a, a piece of a building, uh, but. I think the whole, like, implementing these extra long legs and everything to structures, he kind of looks a bit derpy. I'm not sure if I, I'm, I mean, let me know what you think, but this looks a little too much like a giant centipede now. There's just so many legs to this damn base, it doesn't even look realistic anymore. It's just a bit too crazy. Uh, so let's just quickly get inside and give you a very quick tour because, well, I've said this before. I said it before and I'll say it again, but most of my bases... Well, there's only there's only so much you could do. I really hope that there's going to be a ba like a update to the uh, base building system just to add more stuff. Because, like, like I said, my bases are more the locational aspect rather than the actual design of what you can put in them aspect. Uh, but such is the case. But yeah, anyway, that's the moon pool. Pretty explanatory. Uh, just a simple prep room and when I say prep room. Not really, it's actually more of a power cell charging because I have got, um, I've got some lag. Uh, I'm not sure what lag is doing that, but uh, we've got a nuclear reactor, which, you know, makes sense for a place where there's no other decent source of power. And actually, my frame rate is slowly going down the toilet, but what can I do? So, running along, I actually never realised you could run sideways, but there we go. Uh, so, running all through these corridors, we've got a simple mess hall for one, you know, not nothing much more to say there uh, up here is a simple bedroom with the all-important coffee machine because you always got to have coffee down here and a view to the meteor you know what would be cool is it if the prawn suit could actually mine up that meteor and then imagine if it had some kind of special mineral about it I, I don't know like it, it's quite a feature like if you know where it is it's quite a feature uh, in this in this world but it's just like then if only there was something more to it or or even uh, what if the precursors had done something to it and maybe maybe by this cache there could be some like disused mining equipment or something I don't know like I mean I know that they're technology technologically speaking and more advanced than we are but what if there was some mineral that they were mining or something like maybe this is where like the ion crystals come from or something they, maybe there's like a mineral in here uh, in this meteor from you know from wherever it came from uh, and they were digging that out because there was a mineral they could use to enhance their power systems or something I don't know just you know more food for thought but let me know what you think of that idea uh, down below but anyways I've been walking around we got simple modification and production area whatever you know the drill uh, and simple fish breeding whatever usually you put your food in there uh, to grow and reproduce that's usually the way of things uh, in here is, um, I suppose, a, I suppose it's just like a relaxation area or just a simple research. I mean, I say relaxation because it does have food and things like that. Put some picture frames and uh, various other bits and bobs. So uh, that's that. Scanning room, uh, not too interesting apart from the fact that this here is like the edge of the world. 
because I didn't realize how close the crater is if I sort of stand in it here. Uh, the crater is very close to the edge of the world in all aspects uh, and all the rest. Now, as I walk into the other room, I'm just going to... Here's, an, here's another concept uh, for you, uh, for Subnautica. But you know the fact that the edge of the world is just a simple cliff to the abyss, right? Now, what if... What if... Like, imagine this. What if, right? This world as you see it is comprised primarily of these ginormous sections of land. Almost like tectonic plates. Uh, but instead of plates being connected to each other, there are these massive, I mean truly massive expanses of nothing. The void, in other words. These cliffs that you're seeing are those dividing boundaries. Now, imagine if you could go far enough out, uh, and maybe even far enough down. I mean, maybe if we, like, I don't know, there probably won't be an actual way for you to traverse this, but there could be, like, the actual molten or semi-molten, depending if it's underwater, which I would presume it is, uh, semi-molten, like, core of the planet could be exposed in the gaps between these sections of land. Like, there could be more of the, like, where we are right now, there could be more of these floating chunks of land, when I say floating, these other plates of land, there could be more of this around, but, like, the distances between uh, these chunks of land are, like, way too vast, uh, vast to traverse. Because, like, you have to think, this section of land is so, sort of, it's like an island. I mean, we're underwater, I know, so the whole island mentality does not, you know, really work here. But it's a section of land in a, in a like, surrounded by void and nothingness. I, I could imagine, I mean, this is an alien world, so it could mean that like, anything could happen. Uh, but I, I just imagine, like, between these giant sections of void and nothing, uh, there could be other land masses like this. And just imagining the future update, maybe, I mean, this is this is really far-fetched. I mean, this is also, I, I can guarantee you, this is going to be way outside of anything the devs are thinking of right now. But I'm just imagining, like, a, mass, like a massive DLC update or something where they add they could add this like the precursors could have like an extra teleporter you could access which teleports you to an entirely new land another one another section of land like the one that we're in but just in just like like it could be the entire other side of the planet and maybe there's another precursor gun or something over there because like like IGP has mentioned like that like that gun cannot be the only one it like one gun cannot you know patrol the or like uh, keep out everyone on, on the planet. It's obviously going to only be able to do and take out what it can see. Uh, so I imagine I imagine there could be more of those, and therefore like other like other one of these land masses or something, and maybe even <laughs> DLC 2.0 and another one. Maybe even there could be a precursor base and facility. I don't know. Way down in this potential like. Good God. Um. Uh, sound shock. Um, but like another uh, base down in uh, if the, if there is this whole uh, core of the. Why am I hearing leviathans? Um, like down in the core of the planet, there could be a base. Like it could be ten k ten k down between, like literally, like the bottom of the void. If there is such a thing, you know, I don't know. I'm rambling on, but I just thought instead of giving you just a base video, I'll give you some random theory and ideas, perhaps for like additions to the game, or just like concepts as to how this land came to be. Because like you have to think where I mean, I know the the void is just to mark the end of the world in in the game mechanics and everything. I understand that, but I could just imagine that this land that we're in, this world that we play in. Is, is one of many, separated by vast expanses of nothingness, at least as far as we see, or just vast expanses of incredibly deep ocean that's just non-traversable by, by any means, the prawn suit included. I don't know, more food for thought. So anyway, let me know what you think of this base and give me some more suggestions down below of any other locations you want me to build in, because I'm going to shut up now. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.